Okay, my little uh, update bit of information on my Pulse motor build for the build off. Um, let's run through some parts here quickly. These little transformers here are going to be the generator transformers. I have to strip the cores out of them, unwind them, rewind them. Uh, the eight big ones will be the run coils. Same again, have to strip out the laminates and unwind them. Now these do take a lot of time to get apart because they're all glued together. So actually have to leave a, one laminate at a time apart with a small screwdriver, pull it out. Each one takes about 20 minutes to get a bit. So a lot of time there just um, disassembling those and then we have to unwrap the wire and uh, wrap it all back up. <coughs> My pulse timer kit uh, will be used on the second pulse motor. Now I have one high voltage coil here and also here I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet this one's a little better for higher frequencies um, pulse width modulator I made up which I'm going to change a bit and also put uh, frequency adjust on it as well this will be my generator rotor this one here be my run rotor. Must drill out all the holes and uh, fit all these magnets in them, like that one. Uh, just uh, globe holders for our high voltage neons. Of course, our bearing head to carry the rotors and uh, two big caps which we'll be collecting the power to run the primary pulse motor um, high voltage cap which goes in series with our spark gap um, a few oh, a few super caps oh dear. 25 farad 2.7 volts they will be the storage for the second pulse motor a couple of pots, a couple of um, boards for making up some circuits of course our 4007s and 4004s some high voltage full wave bridge rectifiers and our high voltage transistors these ones are SD will know them if I can get one in the frame the MJ 15003G they're uh, a high voltage transistor and we'll do about 15 amps so more than enough for the job some good strong super glue and I have started on my high voltage to high current transformer We'll go in between um, our spark gap and of course our secondary winding will be filling up these caps here to run the whole system. Uh, just some bits of wire we will need a lot more than that and then of course some other electrical components like resistors and that sort of thing and I might even put some uh, bling bling on it. This is an old set of undercar lights that I found that work. And as you can see, one side is not working. So that will only be a loose wire or something. We've got some pretty purple LEDs in there. The controller I won't be using. Just interesting, it does all these flash tricks. anyway and of course um, our batteries and somewhere under here I have right, see no I might be over here in the box 
Now here's one right here. A stainless steel ring, which we will be using as half of our rotating spark gap. And um, that's what we have so far. So, uh, oh, and our one good run battery and our two dead batteries. Um, this one's been sitting for about four years now. Had 1.6 volts in it. You would have seen it in my last video hooked up to that spark gap. And um, that actually works pretty good. It's now up to 5.6 volts, so that one's working well. This one here, uh, 12 volt, 4 amp hour. It is not happy. It's only got about 7 volts in it, so we're going to see if we can revive that too while we're at it. So that's my pulse motor build update, and as you can see, I have a lot of work to do, and half of it still isn't there because we have a second pulse motor to build which will be running off the first pulse motor and also our bank of lights will be running from the high voltage output of our spark gap and coil so um, I better get to it cheers from the tin man <laughs>